Hey everybody, um, welcome to a lower body focused workout. Um, today we're going to be spending a lot of time focused on the glute muscles, so uh, muscles in your backside. All you're going to need for this is some water. We're going to be doing a time based workout, so 30 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest in between exercises. Uh, when you're ready, join me for a quick warm up and we'll get started. So, I've got my timer here. I'm going to put this somewhere we can get it pretty easily at times. So, this is going to be semi high impact. You can do this on the high impact parts on the mat or off. Um, we're going to be doing some squats. Some squats. So, we're going to be doing squat jumps. We're going to be doing some lunge jumps, and we're going to be doing some side lunges. Just side lunges. And then we're going to move to the mat and do some stuff in tabletop position, so on our hands and knees. So, when you're ready, take it to a side step, get everything loose, because this is mostly gonna be glute focused. So, these exercises, of course, they target other muscles, squats, work your quads as well, and hamstrings, and so do lunges, and so do side lunges, but all of these have one muscle group that's working throughout all of them, so, when we're ready, take it to a knee raise. Keeping your shoulders over your hips and your core tight to protect your lower back the whole time. And your head up. You don't want to be arching or rounding your back at any point during the workout. So, if you need, you can stop the video if this isn't enough of a warm up for you. And uh, keep going until you're warm and come back when you're ready. But uh, if not, we're gonna start with our first interval. Here's our 10 seconds beforehand. Which is going to be squat jumps. Beginners, if you don't wanna do a squat jump, just do a normal squat, and if you can't get back all the way, just go halfway. So here we go. Yeah, knees over, yay. Here we go, let's just, we'll explain on the way. Um, you want your hips going back, you want that same posture from earlier. You want to be lifting up. If you don't want to do the normal squat, you don't want to do a squat jump, you can go in between and raise up on your calves. You want this to be an explosive motion snapping forward from the hips. You don't want your knees going out over your toes. These are 10 seconds of rest. So now we're going to be doing jump lunges. A jump lunge is more like a lunge. So we're going to be taking a step forward and bring it down. And then we're going to jump it. So when you're ready, you want your legs at 90 degree angles. Come with me. You can do this however you want if you want to do it low impact. Do low impact or reverse lunge it. Either way, keep breathing because that's literally the most important thing you can do. And Rest. So what we're doing now is side lunges. So same idea. You're gonna be heading out. Weight still in the heels. Weight's always in the heels. And leaning into it, and then switching sides in about two seconds. So when you're ready, come with me. Step out. Lean back. You want your head and chest up. Other side. Breathing, exhaling on the motion. We've got about 10 seconds left for this exercise. And then we're going to be on the mat. All right. So we're going to be on the mat. First thing we're going to be doing, I'm going to check my schedule. Yikes. Yeah. So first thing we're going to be doing on the mat is we're going to pick a side to start with. Heel top position. We're going to be doing donkey kicks. So you want this this flex. Come with me. Bring it up and in. Bring it up and in. This might be a glute press as well. A lot of these have different names. You can take this as fast or slow as you want. If you're going faster than me or slower than me, it's your workout. As long as you're doing it with good form. All right. Take that break. What we're going to be doing next is a glute extension. So it's going to be a kick back. So it's going to look like this. When you're ready, come with me. Three, two, 
One, kick it out. You want that heel flex the whole time. This is only one circuit. If you want to do the circuit again when we're finished, feel free. So I'm going to go through once, just a quick body weight workout to get in. At any point throughout the day, you want that posture still. You don't want to be arching or rounding your back. In five seconds, we'll move to a side extension. So take your 10 seconds. A side extension is going to look like I'm going to be lifting my leg up like this on each side. So in about three, two, one, keeping that foot flexed. Bring it up. This is also going to be working the inner thighs as well as the outer glutes. I'm going to turn to the side. Coming out like a right angle. So we only got about 10 seconds left. Then we're going to switch legs and we'll be done. Remembering to breathe. And you can feel this on the supporting glute as well as the one actually doing the motion. Take your 10 seconds. We're going to be switching legs now. So now it's going to be this one doing the donkey kick. When you're ready, flex that foot, bring it up, bring it in, bring it up. Keeping that foot flexed the whole time. Heel stamping the ceiling. Remembering to breathe. Just because we're on the floor doesn't mean it's easy. So, about 10 seconds, we're going to be going to that leg extension. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that 10 second rest. Almost done already. So, that extension, when you're ready, you want that foot so flexed, you're stamping your heel into the wall behind you. You got 20 seconds left. keeping your lower back protected. Three, two, one, 10 second rest, and then we're gonna be doing that right angle extension on the other side, and we'll be done. We're ready for our cool down and stretch. We're not really getting the heart rate too, too much up with this one. When you're ready, once again from the side, looks like this. You want your leg a little bit more than what I had. My balance wasn't so great there. We got about 20 seconds. Everything's fine. If you need to take a break, stretch out beforehand. Go ahead. 10 seconds. Once again, that standing leg is feeling it about as much as the moving one is. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. We're going to hold this one. This is child's pose. This really stretches out the lower back and glutes. We're going to bring it up. We're going to bring it to a figure four stretch. So you can do it seated or standing. We're going to hook this ankle over this knee. As far up as you can. And hold it like this. If you need a longer time stretching, stop the video. And do that as well. Switch legs. Feel that down the hamstring and glute. Alright, now you can do a standing or sitting, but bring one leg in. And hug it to your chest. If you can. If, you, if you're doing a standing and you need to hold on to something, feel free to do that. Switch legs. Bring it up. Now we're going to be doing my favorite hamstring stretches, which everyone who follows this channel knows I'm really good at. So we're taking a straddle stance here, moving your hips forward because you do not want to round or arch your back. You want this to be a straight back movement from the waist, which I am bad at, but it's fine. See you later. Okay, and we're going to bring one in. Here one out. We didn't really 
really get our heart rates up too much with this one. But if you want a longer stretch as well, I know I have a stretching video, switch legs already up. I'm just sure you can check out anytime. And I know I'll be trying to do a low impact version of this video. So without the jump squats and lunges, just with normal ones. So be on the lookout for that one as well. Bring your feet together. Stretch out the inner thighs and groin. Stretch out the neck. So this was mostly, yeah, a glute focused workout. Um, if you liked it, please let me know in the comments section. And also if you liked it, you know, give it an actual like. And let me know what you want to see in other videos. You know, if you want to see some, some core or some upper body or lower body, or if you want to see reps or time, you know, whatever you'd like. So don't forget to click that as well. Um, if you liked this and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for so much. Yikes. Thank you so much for working out with me. I hope to see you all in the next video.